I'm looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kim from yours truly. I'm just uploading this video because I've been asked to share this project um, that our partners USCV, the Other Star Collective, Vancouver, have been trying to put together in light of, you know, all the shitty things that have been happening in K-pop lately. I mean, there's a lot of people who are unhappy and that's not good, but we need to make people aware of that, I think. I feel like this project to me hits really close to home and that mental health has always been a dark cloud that's been looming over me and stuff and I feel like the awareness that they're trying to I can't talk right now that they're trying to um, support is something that I really want to support as well. Um, basically, what they want you to have in your submission is how has... We all know that music transcends languages and specifically K-pop or it doesn't even have to be just K-pop. Music in general. Um, how has it led you to cope with difficulties and yeah, that's one of the things that they've been um, trying to do. Uh, so what they've asked me to do is tell you a little bit of a video, give you guys a little bit of a video of what exactly they're doing and some information. Um, links and stuff will be in the description down below. So the project is called Been Through and it goes hand in hand with the hashtag Hashtag um, Bell Let's Talk. Um, so from now until this coming Tuesday, so it's coming up real fast, um, January 30th at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They're going to be accepting submissions um, that they're going to be posting on the day of the campaign. So for every mission that they receive, in addition to to contributing towards the hashtag Bell Let's Talk movement. Uh, USCV is going to be donating 50 cents towards the Canadian Mental Health Association. And so for more details, if you can guys you guys can go to www.uscv.ca to take part in this great project. Yes? Go do it. Because I want to be happy and other people want to be happy, but sometimes we just need some help. So basically what USCV is trying to do is they want to start this discussion on mental health and by taking part in the Bell Let's Talk campaign. And to enter your submission, they just want you to tell them about a moment when music helped you through a really difficult time. and your submission will help contribute to their donations in difficult time and yeah but yeah go ahead tell your moments i know that music has had a great effect on me um uh in 2008 i went to musical theater school so I was trying to get my musical theater diploma and you know music was something that I was really 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 passionate about I loved performing I loved dancing I loved singing I loved acting and then you know I was like you know I'm gonna try going to school for this it was a bad idea for me I don't know I got there. First year was alright. It was really, really stressful. Um, I mean, I had been in the industry before that. But for some reason, studying what I love to do didn't sit right with me. Like, it just felt 
like I wasn't getting I wasn't passionate about it anymore like I just felt it was like more work that I didn't enjoy I mean I hated the essays and like all the stuff that comes with school so in my second year of university I was going through a very 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 rough time so from I decided to withdraw from school and I moved out and I just did my own thing. I tried to find something that would make me happy again because obviously at that point music had kind of just pushed me away a little bit. I was having a rough time and like It was difficult. So for the next two, three years, two, two years, the next two years until 2013, I was kind of just wondering. I didn't really know what I was do doing. My parents were kind of disappointed with me because I dropped out of university and I wasn't really doing anything with myself. I was kind of just staying at home. Um, I felt like I don't remember those two years. I think I just worked. But then I just felt like a zombie. That also led me to like to And then one day, I got an opportunity to be in a short film by a good friend. And I was like, you know what? I'm not doing anything. Sure, why not? I'll help you out. Blah, 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 blah. And then through that, I met other friends. And this one friend was like, hey, do you dance? And I was like yeah, I did dance for a bit, like, competitively and stuff, and, like, trying to work as a dancer. And he's like, you should join our dance club. And that is when I joined SFU Hip Hop Club. So 2012, I joined SFU Hip Hop Club, and I was, like, so scared because it had been such a long time since I started dancing, and, like, such a long time since I started listening, like, listening to music because... I think I just kind of stopped for a bit, like even just having the radio on, it was kind of just on like, like noise that I couldn't really focus on. But yeah, I took my first dance class in forever and I met new friends and I was happy. I think it was like the very first time I was very happy for a very, very long time. But then, at the time, same time, I was like, I'm broke. I don't have a good job. I'm not in school. What do I do with my life? So, I met Theo. And I really, I really wanted to dance again. I, like, just having that taste of dancing again, I just really wanted to dance again. But I couldn't afford it. And so when I met Theo, she was like, hey, do you know K-pop? Let's, let's just go over to Robson Square and learn some K-pop dances. I was like, you know what, that works. I mean, it's not class, but at least I'm like learning something. And that's how I started dancing with yours truly. That's how yours truly started. And since then, K-pop in general, that was the big boost for me. I found something I loved again. And I really, really, really wanted to work hard at it. So we've been building yours truly from 2013 all the way until now. And like our, like, it's just, it's, this channel has just grown so big and I'm so happy. 
I mean, there are times when I do get stressed, I do get upset and sad, and I don't want to talk to anybody. And when I when it happens like that, I'm happy that I can listen to music again, and it makes me feel happy and not like crap. So whenever I'm upset, I can now comfortably turn on some music and start dancing. Thank you, K-pop. It's still rough. Um, things like depression are, aren't things that like go away per se. I mean, there are ways of coping. That's what I, I think. I don't think it like fully goes away. I don't think that I can, I know I can be happy, but I don't think It's, it's, it's something that's just in me now that I don't feel like it's something that can go away permanently, but I'm trying and I'm just happy that now I have friends around me that are very supportive. I have something that I love to do, even when it's stressful, I still love it, so it's completely different than before. But yeah. Oh no! But yeah, anyways, yeah. You guys should check out www.uscb.ca um, and check out their Been Through um, campaign that they're trying to do. And yeah. Share your stories. Know that you're not the only one out there that's feeling that way. And we can all just share with each other like how to cope with things, how to how to make things just a little bit better for you. Anyways. Jacob Kachi, yours truly. Love you guys. Bye bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching! Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. If you want to support our channel and get some pretty awesome perks, then check out patreon.com slash yours truly dance for more info.